Jeanette Walls was born on April 21, 1960 in Phoenix, Arizona to Rex and Rosemary Walls. Altogether, she had three siblings, Lori, Brian, and Maureen. However, Walls was always closer to Lori and Brian because they had experienced most adventures and struggles together. One of Jeanette's earliest memories was of her cooking hot dogs on an open fire when she was just four years old. Jeanette accidentally looked away for a second and soon realized she was on fire. She was immediately taken to the hospital, however, due to the lack of money, her father quickly snuck her out. Although her scars left a permanent reminder on her body, the fire would always serve as a symbol that anything could change in an instant, so she always had to be aware of her surroundings. Walls and her family tended to be poverty-stricken, therefore they were constantly on the move due to the lack of bills paid. Although Jeanette's father Rex occasionally worked, the Walls family still experienced a shortage of money to pay for bare necessities such as clothing, food, or water. After roaming around the desert of Phoenix, the Walls family finally settled down in the town of Battle Mountain, Phoenix. There, Jeanette's mom, Rosemary, managed to find a job as a school teacher. Alongside teaching, Rosemary also followed her passion in painting. Together, the family was able to pay for a house with running water and electricity. The Walls family resided in their home long enough that year that they even celebrated Christmas. However, Rex and Rosemary realized they didn't have enough money to pay for gifts for their children. Therefore, they gave them something more worthwhile. Rex took Lori, Brian, and Jeanette out into the vast desert one by one to give them their gifts, stars. When it was Jeanette's turn, she was in awe. She couldn't believe she was getting her own star, therefore she picked Venus. The stars her dad had given her would always linger with Jeanette in her future obstacles and serve as a motivator that her dad would always be looking down from him. Soon after Jeanette and her family had stayed long enough in their home in Battle Mountain, Jeanette's father decided to move the family once more, and this time it seemed permanent. The Walls picked up their belongings and headed all the way to Welch, West Virginia. In Welch, Jeanette and her family had hit an all-time low financially. Although they managed to find a home which they could afford, it was hardly enough. There was no running water or electricity, and Walls would find rats and snakes around the house. After Walls and her sister Lori completed high school, they decided they had enough of their lifestyle, so they both decided to leave for New York City, because they both knew the city would offer them more options in their broke hometown. Once Jeanette arrived at New York City, she immediately enrolled in Columbia University with financial aid of grants and scholarships. Walls then graduated from Barnard College in all honors in 1984. Jeanette knew her passion lied in writing, therefore she pursued a career as a journalist. Jeanette's first job was with the Phoenix in which she wrote articles about inside lives of many celebrities. Jeanette also started writing for Esquire, USA Today, New York Magazine, and MSNBC. To this day, Jeanette still remains a gossip columnist for MSNBC alongside being an acclaimed author. As her journalist career continued to get better, Walls knew she wanted to write novels as well. She published her first memoir, The Glass Castle, in 2005 on her own life. The events that Walls highlighted in The Glass Castle are those that were previously shown. Although Walls thought her novel wouldn't succeed in the literary world, up to 2.5 million copies were sold worldwide in varying languages. The Glass Castle talked about the struggles that Walls experienced with her family and how she eventually forgave her parents for the lifestyle they led and urged their children to live. To this day, Walls is grateful for the morals her parents have taught her. Although her father, Rex, passed away, Walls makes sure to keep a strong bond with her mother to this day to show how much she appreciates her. Once Walls knew how much of a hit her memoir was, she wrote her first fiction novel, The Silver Star, in, in 20 2013. The first novel, once again, introduces familial conflicts and shows how difficult it can be for children when their parents neglect them. The main characters, Liz and Bean Holiday, are left alone by their mother who runs off without them after a heated argument. Therefore, both girls decide to leave their home in Los Lake, California and visit their uncle's mansion in Byler, Virginia. As Bean and Liz become accustomed to the lifestyle in their mother's hometown, they're soon introduced to segregation and just how harsh society can be. The novel also highlights feminism as well as judicial justice. The Silver Star proved another success for Walls and continues to inspire readers on the ability to follow through with your heart con some other novels Walls had published are Dish, How Gossip Became the News and the News Became Just Another Show, as well as Dish, The Inside Story on the World of Gossip Became the News and How the News Became Just Another Show. Both 
nonfiction novels introduce the gossip world of celebrities. Wallace published these books while she was in the midst of her journalist career. Another success story Wallace had written was Half Broke Horses, which is a biography on the life of Wallace's grandmother, Lily Casey Smith, and how she raised Wallace's mother, Rosemary. In Jeanette Wallace's novels, there are many recurring themes. One major theme is of conflicts between family members. Wallace accentuates the struggle of pleasing your family alongside pursuing your ambitions. In both The Glass Castle and Silver Star, Jeanette assures readers that acceptance is key alongside familiar conflicts. Another theme is of money. Financial crises were the basis of Walls' fear in The Glass Castle and the major deterrent to the path of success for Walls. However, she managed just fine and this once again is shown in The Silver Star. Bean and Liz found jobs to suffice their needs, therefore both novels show how well it can control lives. The final yet another theme that is shown in both novels is of societal conflicts. Segregation, poverty, and feminism are the main conflicts that Walls introduces just because she had grown up alongside them and knows firsthand how difficult life can be. Although Jeanette Walls grew up living a hard life, her novels show a moralistic side of her that assure readers she actually wouldn't change anything about her upbringing if she had gotten the chance to. Walls constantly attends lectures to remind her fans that her background is what molded her into the writer and person she is today. Jeanette Walls appreciates the stardom she has gained through her writing and loves to show her readers that they too can achieve greatness as long as they believe in their ability to persevere. And as for Walls' personal life, Walls is now happily married and living with her husband John Taylor, who is also a writer and happened to dedicate a novel to her. Jeanette Walls currently lives in Virginia and is beyond grateful for the way her life has turned out. And Jeanette continues writing for that is the one thing that truly turned her life around and continues to make her happy.